Good morning, folks. We're going to try to get this Barmel 350 that hasn't been running probably, I don't know, at least eight years, I would say. At least eight years, I think. We'll have to ask Steve sometime, but probably eight years. Got the 82 Chevy working out of an Amazon box and a DeWalt bag and uh, some tools. Got a battery pack, a battery, some empty jugs to put the old gas in, some gas, a new gas tank to use. So, I think she has fluid in the tires. This one, they have, they'll put it up for sale at the auction. This has the fast hitch with the TA battery under the seat. We had a 300 at one time. And uh, they have some equipment that goes along with this tractor. A plow and some other stuff. So, this is one of the prize ones to get running. We'll try to get this one running today. I got one spark plug out. She's pretty uh, crudded up. So I was going to take one out and see if I had spark then. I put a battery in here. The battery is not very good, to, but it's battery I had. But I need to get some bolts and then the there's a bolt missing on that case. So I have to use a vice grip. So at least I can turn over and see if I have some spark. And the, there is some gas in it. It doesn't smell the best. I don't know if it's something somebody put in it or how long it's been in there for sure i don't know, know for sure if somebody did try to get this run or not before by the look of the new wires and the old wire line up there i think they did but that's just a hunch Try to clean up the battery cables. I put it on and it sparked. So try to clean it up. I thought I brought two batteries for the drill. I did, but I brought one dead one. That didn't work out. It didn't work out very well. It doesn't look like this carburetor's ever been off of here. Uh, but the gas smells pretty terrible. So figure out what they got here for a gas line. They got a copper one. See if we can take the that loose. Brought some drugs to put the gas in. Before I went on a coffee break, I uh, took the plug out of the bottom of the carburetor, and I put a bunch of carb cleaner through there and got nasty stuff out. Then I put it back in. And I filled the carburetor full of carb cleaner. So that sat now while I was uh, having coffee and a little dessert. Now uh, I'm going to take off the cap and rotor and see what's going on there. And then because I tried it with the key, I got it to turn over now. I had to have the handbrake on. I forgot. I guess you have to have the handbrake on to make it turn over in neutral. So I got that on. I got no spark. I'm going to take the points and cap it off and we'll see what it looks like in there. got it off it's got two different flavors it's got this old girl here more of a chocolate and it's got more of like a blueberry flavor over here but these do not look very good i don't know which one it was i had off it is corroded here i'll take the take the chocolate one off they don't have a wire the wire's not even hanging down in there so and then one of these other blueberry flavor ones here that is corroded like that corroded in there and it's corroded down in there but it doesn't look like much of the points left either. So we'll see what we can do. Plus there's some wires hooked to other wires. I mean, that's factory here and this is beautiful. But uh, we didn't bring a lot of stuff with. There might be uh, some stuff laying in one of the sheds they use to fix it, but we'll see if we have enough here to cobble it together to use it. <laughs> All right, I got barely any spark, but I have a little bit of spark. I got one dead battery now. 
and I've got a jumper pack that's half charged down there. Uh, I was trying to get gas down to the carburetor. I got the line off. I got gas coming on the line, then it plugged up, and then I blew back on it. I got gas coming, good gas I put in out of it. There's the old gas. Does not look good. I got apple cider. And uh, I can't get gas to come through the carburetor. I got the bottom of the carburetor open right now. I've hit it a couple times, but the seat and the float, you can hear it's just empty in there. It must be stuck. So, day's getting a little long now. I'm just going to put some star fluid in there, in the carb, and we'll just see if it does fire. And then we'll just do that for the fun of it for right now. Because I can't get, I'll have to take the carburetor apart. I don't know if I really want to do that right now here. I need to take the sediment bowl off too, but that is stuck on there right now. I don't want to break it. cylinders but those plug wires are pretty bad pretty bad but it does fire so that's a winning thing <laughs> Well, that's not what we wanted. Good thing we had some monster, huh? That saved the day. Saved the day in a little snow. So it looks like they got the choke wire, ran right next to the starter. So when I went to pull the choke cable by hand, it touched the, that out. Is that out? I don't know if it, oh. It touched the choke cable right up in there on the positive side. Started on fire. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was quite entertaining, I would say. Huh. For the thing, all that old gas that was dripping out of it didn't start on fire. I probably so old it didn't even light it was just all that carburetor cleaner I was putting in there <sighs> breather thank you Jesus for helping us on this one I got the carburetor taken off I had to go home and get a uh, stubby wrench because uh, I don't have one with me I barely had anything with me so we're gonna go home and we'll take the carburetor apart and we'll see how bad that is and see why we're not getting gas and we'll let that soak and then we'll uh revisit this another day so i got the outside of the carburetor pretty clean i'll have soap for a while and some gas and some super clean and uh we're gonna take this thing apart now and we'll see what it looks like on the inside of it
pretty green in there. And this one's got some junk on the bottom. It's got some water in there too, or something. Or maybe just some old gas that I had in there. I actually thought it was going to be worse. I thought it was going to be really worse. But we're going to put that in the ultrasonic cleaner after we clean it out some and then uh, get that cleaned up. So I wonder if this float was stuck. Yeah, the needle does not come down. That's why I couldn't get any gas out of it. Back working on the Parmel 350. Amanda's factory installing the carburetor right now for us. <laughs> after I got it cleaned up. So we're gonna put that on, I'm gonna go throw a battery in it right now and we'll see if she still has any spark. <laughs>
We have a gas leak because the rubber in the seven pole is shot. It's shot, so I stole it from this M here. And then I put it on here, but it really isn't that good, but it's, it's kind of working. So we're tying that up some. Pick up some tools here. The throttle thing is a little goofy up there. You have to hold it to make it work. And we got, I don't know how we're going to try to drive it with the, uh, and show them what's going on with the battery cables and the boot. The vice grips. To set up for it to run. Well, he took up all the connections for the battery and now he is going to try to drive it and see how far he can get. Did all the work and she got her on it. Oh, right. Yep, we totally did. I was driving 82 Chevy. Feel right at home. I wish to see what it bolted down. Is it supposed to be like really hard to push down on the brakes? Is that normal? Kind of. Yeah, because it doesn't have boost assist or nothing. It's all your foot. Oh. But this is kind of weird because the seat's not bolted down. I don't want to fly off the back. <laughs> so. Good thing you didn't. 